Hey, welcome back everyone. This will be the first hardware related video shown here on the channel and today you guys will learn how to solder any battery. Despite battery manufacturers not recommending the idea of soldering batteries, there is still a safe and effective way you can do it. Ideally, for lithium ion cells specifically, you would spot weld nickel strips to the battery. However, spot welders are quite expensive and if you ever made a mistake and needed to remove the nickel strips, then it will be a very difficult process to remove them. And there will almost always be remnants left from the spot weld bond, which cannot be removed. So that is why the alternative method of using solder to attach wires and nickel strips to batteries is often considered. The solder can be removed with ease by only using a desoldering pump. The materials that you will need for this procedure are a soldering iron with a large tip, solder, flux, nickel strips or wires, and of course, a battery of your choice. A large tip for the soldering iron is necessary because it will allow the surface of the battery to heat up quicker. If you were to take off the shrink wrap on a lithium iron or alkaline cell, you will notice that the negative part of the cell consists of most of the cell's casing. So a large soldering tip will help heat up the negative side of the cell quicker and prevent less heat exposure that could potentially damage the battery. The large soldering tip is only required for the cylindrical shaped batteries. For this guide, I will be using a cheap Chinese 18650 lithium ion cell, a AA battery, and a 9 volt battery as examples. If the surface of the battery appears rough or not smooth, use a file or flathead screwdriver to scrape the surfaces of the battery. This will help make the solder bonding stronger. Once again, this step only applies to the cylindrical shaped batteries and is generally not required. Next, apply flux onto the batteries with a brush or flathead screwdriver. For the cell shaped batteries, only apply one side with flux for now. Only a thin layer is needed. To help increase stability for the cell shaped batteries, use painter's tape. We may now apply the solder. Just like with the flux, you do not need to cover the entire surface. Do not hold the soldering iron on the battery surface for more than 10 seconds. If you are using nickel strips as your connectors, please apply flux and solder to it too. This will help make the solder bond even stronger. Now apply the connections to your batteries. For attaching the nickel strips, hold the strip with pliers or tweezers on one end and place the other end on the cell's surface. Place your soldering iron on top of the nickel strip and only apply moderate pressure. Once the solder starts oozing out below the nickel strips, that means that the bond has been made and you may remove the soldering iron. Hold the nickel strip in the same position for a few more seconds. Now you may release. As you can see, the bond is strong and reliable. If you are using wires to create the connections, simply melt the solder and apply the wire. Remove the soldering iron and then hold the wire onto the bond until the solder hardens. For cell shaped batteries, repeat everything on the opposite side. After that, you're done. Here are the final outcomes of the example batteries. Thank you all for watching. If this guide was helpful for you, please drop a like and hit subscribe to join the Goose Flock. Catch you guys later.